Pursuant to facts previously stated, I would like to ask the judge if he would consider... Guilty. Would the foreman please return to his seat in the jury box? Yes, ma'am. Now, if I may continue, I... Can I ask a question first? You may. What are you wearing under that suit? This is highly irregular, and I wish to strike it from the record. Yeah, I wish to strike, too. But I would like to thank the foreman for his interest and for his guilty verdict. I'd give you a guilty verdict no matter what you're wearing. Yes, you would. <laughs> of course you would. Vincent ruined your career. I just want justice to prevail. Are you sure there are no personal feelings? Maybe a few. But truth be told, I mostly want to see you on your first case as a DA. <laughs> so how's it looking, good looking? Well, now that Vince confessed, it's going to make it a lot easier, and we don't have to rely on Natalie. Good, because I don't think she's going to testify. Why? Well, I know Natalie, and uh, after John's death, she's going to want some strong arms wrapped around her. And I got a feeling Vincent is holding his wide open. Thank you. How you doing? How you think I'm doing? I'm in jail. You don't look happy to see me. I thought you was my lawyer. And no, I'm not happy to see you. More accurately, I'm not happy about you seeing me. I promised my mom I'd never be up in this place. So why'd you confess? I say your lips had some sort of truth serum to them. My God, that kiss was a mistake. Why are you bringing it up? Layla. Uh, we, we were just talking. I can see that. It was a mistake. You can say that again. And I don't blame Natalie for blasting you for what you did to Christian. Natalie was just telling me where we stand. And you shouldn't be here, Layla. No, 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 no. I'm the one who shouldn't be here. I'm going to let you guys talk. Like I said, you shouldn't be here. I guess you know everything, don't you? Well, I do know how you feel about me. And I know how you feel about what I did. And I know that you're not going to give me a second chance. So if you're here wanting to throw it back in my face, go ahead. I'm a captive audience. That's not what I came here for. No? Why? I heard you confessed. Is that why you came? I wanted to know why. Does it matter? Maybe it doesn't, but I am curious. Would you believe me if I said that it was the right thing to do? Time for the arraignment. You ready? <laughs> do I have a choice? No. What's going to happen to her? Well, it depends on how hard the prosecutor wants to play. You see, I know her rep from when she was a defense attorney. Evangeline Williamson may wind up being one tough ADA. Vincent isn't holding his arms wide open for Natalie. He's trying to get back with my sister. And even if I'm wrong about that, do you really think Natalie would go to Vincent so soon after John? Well, it's not like she hasn't done it before. After she thought I was dead, she got all mixed up with Kelly Kramer's brother. Ah, uh, Paul. That's right. And that worked out really well. Well, you sure you shouldn't give Natalie the benefit of the doubt on this one? Well, I'd like to, but uh, hearing her talk about Vincent last night, she was almost defending him. And to me, it sounded like she was falling right into that same pattern. Natalie has a tendency to be self-destructive when she's in pain. And getting involved with Vincent Jones falls under the category of self-destruction? I just don't want Natalie to throw away what's left of her life on a guy like Vincent. I don't know what bothers me more, Christian. The fact that you think I'm not capable of making my own decisions, or that you're convinced that without John, my life is dust. I can't! 
That's not the way I meant it, madam. Yeah, well, it sure is the way it sounded. Look, I think you have great things ahead of you. And believe it or not, I trust your judgments about this. Thank you. But you don't have to worry. Vincent Jones is out of my life. Not that he was ever there in the first place. I'm sorry. No plea bargain. You must be joking. No joke. Look, your client has two choices. He can either plead guilty or he can go through the ordeal of a trial wherein he will be found guilty and probably get a longer sentence. You're green. Am I? I don't think so. Well, as a defense attorney, maybe. But not as a prosecutor. You can't win this one. My client was never out to kill Mr. Vega. Uh, accepted. He waged against his own fighter. But Mr. Jones had nothing to do with the lacing, if you pardon the expression, of the other fighter's gloves. Not firsthand, but he has taken full responsibility for Ted's actions, which means this case will definitely go to trial, and most likely he will be found guilty. I hate to ruin your day, Miss Prosecutor, but I happen to have a witness who's willing to testify otherwise. <laughs> you are bluffing. Oh, I don't think so. Who is this mystery witness? I am. Uh, Chris. Chris, can you just give us a second? Okay. What is this all about? Go ahead. Tell her what you told me. I did it. I was the one who put the dope on Abbott's gloves. Vincent, he didn't even know anything about it. I see what this is all about. Sounds to me like Ted here would rather go to jail than have Vincent Jones as an enemy. I'm telling you the truth, and I'll tell it to the judge. Still think that my client would be convicted? I think not. You won't even be able to stick him with an assault charge. I'll tell you what. We'll give you misdemeanor racketeering in exchange for a suspended sentence and community service. Give me a second, please. So, what do you think, Chris? You're the one that lost everything. So, what do you think? I think we should take the deal. Are you sure? Yeah, yeah, I, I just want this whole thing to go away. Okay, let's go tell Looks like it's your lucky day. The plaintiff agrees to the deal. That's it. That's all you want. Oh, no. No, that's not it. I also want Vincent to go to the Boxing Commission to make a statement. I want my name cleared. Publicly. Well, that's fine with me. Okay, we'll give the deal to the judge as soon as he comes in. Thank you, Mike. So his business, I can't tell you enough. I'm sorry all this happened. Hey. Thanks for being here for me. You're welcome. But this doesn't change anything. Layla, I said it before, and I'll say it again. I'm sorry. Yeah. I can say. You got lucky today. Did I? Don't blow it. 